A good portrait photograph will always tell a story about the person in it, and that is extremely important. I'm Vudi. I'm a news documentary and editorial photographer. I studied journalism and studied documentary photography and photojournalism also. I was 10 or 11 years old. I just saw somebody coming to my home with a photo camera and I was impressed. What was that kind of machine? So I guess seeing some strange person with some strange equipment. I was very curious to understand what, what was it about and I just realized, oh, I like this. <laughs> so then, yeah, that's how I started. I like very much when I do street photography, people, when they notice me, their facial expression is, is amazing. I also, most of the time, capture that too. Sometimes they are angry, Sometimes they are extremely happy and excited that, oh, there is a camera, you know? It's a very unique experience. The key way to approach is be a human as they are and uh, talk to them and ask them questions and I'm sure they will be happy too. Hence why it is very important for every single photographer that they must, it is a must that they keep reading books. Because the more you read books, the more you feed your brain with knowledge and with words and with ways of talking to people. I, I do work alone most of the time and I'm happy to collaborate with people who are interested to collaborate. I don't feel like I could compete necessarily with any of my colleagues or vice versa. That's why I'm very happy and open to collaborations because the more ideas and thoughts that are involved in any kind of project, the better it is. If you're going in a war zone, you're not going to a place where strawberries and cakes are going to fly over your head. It's a place where bombs and bullets are flying over your head. You have to be mentally, physically and professionally prepared. I don't go there because I like it. Some people decide to be part of the war by offering themselves to serve or to humanitarian organizations or to serve to the people on the ground that actually firmly refuse to participate to the war that's happening just below their feet. So my choice is to go witness document and report and bring about stories and make sure as many people as possible can see them and understand and perhaps take a decision, what should they do about it? Photography is my politics. It's the way I decide to bring about in the light so people can see what I subjectively care. 